Can you explain what item is and why it's important in the context of ServiceNow? Item, or IT Operations Management, involves managing and overseeing IT infrastructure and services to ensure optimal performance and availability. In ServiceNow, Item helps automate IT operations, reduce service outages, and increase operational efficiency through modules like event management, discovery, and orchestration. How does ServiceNow Discovery work? ServiceNow Discovery identifies IP-enabled configuration items, CIs, in the network and populates the CMDB with their data. It uses probes and sensors to collect information from devices, then updates the CMDB with discovered CIs and their relationships. What are the key benefits of using ServiceNow Event Management? ServiceNow Event Management consolidates event data from various monitoring tools into a single pane of glass, reduces noise through event correlation, and automates incident creation and resolution processes. This improves incident response times and overall system reliability. Can you describe the process of setting up a MID server in ServiceNow? Setting up a MID server involves downloading the MID server installer from ServiceNow, installing it on a host within your network, configuring the MID server properties, and validating the connection to the ServiceNow instance. This enables secure communication between ServiceNow and the network devices. How does service mapping differ from discovery? Service mapping builds on discovery by mapping business services to the underlying IT infrastructure. It identifies the specific components and dependencies of a business service, providing a more granular view of how applications and infrastructure support business operations. What is the role of probes and sensors in ServiceNow Discovery? Probes are scripts that gather information from devices, and sensors process this information to create or update configuration items in the CMDB. Probes initiate the data collection, and sensors interpret the collected data to map it to CI attributes. Explain the concept of orchestration in ServiceNow item. Orchestration in ServiceNow automates complex tasks and processes across various systems and applications. It extends workflows to external systems, allowing for tasks like user provisioning, software deployment, and other repetitive IT operations to be automated, reducing manual effort and errors. What is the purpose of the CMDB Health Dashboard in ServiceNow? The CMDB Health Dashboard provides insights into the health of the CMDB by evaluating completeness, compliance, and correctness of CI data. It helps identify gaps, inconsistencies, and issues within the CMDB, ensuring data integrity and reliability. How do you handle duplicate CIs in the ServiceNow CMDB? Handling duplicate CIs involves identifying them through CI reconciliation rules, which match on key attributes. Once identified, duplicates can be merged manually or automatically using reconciliation and deduplication policies to ensure a clean and accurate CMDB. Describe the process of creating an event rule in ServiceNow Event Management. Creating an event rule involves defining conditions and actions for incoming events. Conditions determine which events the rule applies to, and actions specify the response, such as creating an incident, suppressing the event, or triggering a script. How does ServiceNow handle cloud infrastructure monitoring? ServiceNow integrates with cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud to monitor cloud infrastructure. It uses connectors and APIs to collect data on cloud resources, events, and performance, which is then processed in event management and discovery modules. What are the primary steps in a ServiceNow discovery schedule? A discovery schedule involves defining IP ranges, setting a frequency for scans, selecting MID servers, and configuring credentials. The schedule then triggers discovery to scan the specified IP ranges at the defined intervals, updating the CMDB with discovered data. How do you secure mid-server communications in ServiceNow? MID server communications are secured using encryption and secure communication protocols. Configuration involves setting up mutual authentication using certificates and configuring firewall rules to allow only necessary traffic between the MID server and the ServiceNow instance. Explain the concept of CI classes and their importance in the CMDB. 
CI classes define the categories and attributes of configuration items in the CMDB. They provide a structured way to organize and manage CIs, ensuring consistent data collection and facilitating easier reporting, searching, and maintenance of CMDB records. How does ServiceNow use performance analytics in ITIM? Performance analytics in ITOM provides real-time and historical data analysis to monitor and optimize IT operations. It includes dashboards, KPIs, and trend analysis, helping identify issues, measure performance, and drive continuous improvement in IT services. What is the significance of the Identification and Reconciliation Engine, IR, in ServiceNow? The Identification and Reconciliation Engine, IRE, ensures data integrity in the CMDB by using identification rules to uniquely identify CIs and reconciliation rules to manage CI updates. It prevents duplicates and maintains consistent, accurate CI data across multiple data sources. Can you describe a use case for using ServiceNow orchestration? A common use case for orchestration is automating the onboarding process for new employees. It can automate tasks such as creating user accounts, granting access to applications, and setting up workstations, streamlining the process and reducing manual effort. How does the ServiceNow Event Management Connector work with external monitoring tools? The Event Management Connector integrates with external monitoring tools to collect event data. It uses APIs and connectors to import events, which are then processed, correlated, and visualized in ServiceNow, providing a centralized view of IT operations. What are the different types of sensors used in ServiceNow Discovery? There are several types of sensors in ServiceNow Discovery, including identification sensors, which identify sea ice, and exploration sensors, which gather detailed information about the sea ice. Each type is tailored to specific devices and data collection requirements. How can you customize discovery patterns in ServiceNow? Discovery patterns can be customized using the Pattern Designer in ServiceNow. It allows users to create, modify, and test patterns to define how Discovery identifies and collects information from various devices and applications in the network. What are the benefits of using ServiceNow service mapping over traditional Discovery? Service mapping provides a more detailed and accurate representation of business services by mapping dependencies and relationships between CIs. This helps in understanding the impact of changes and incidents on business services, improving incident management and change planning. Describe the role of operational intelligence in ServiceNow item. Operational intelligence in ServiceNow item uses machine learning and analytics to detect anomalies, predict issues, and provide actionable insights. It helps in proactive incident management and optimizing IT operations by identifying patterns and trends in operational data. How do you configure credentials for discovery in ServiceNow? Credentials for discovery are configured in the Credentials Management module. This involves creating credential records for different types of devices and protocols and associating them with discovery schedules or probes to ensure secure and successful data collection. What is the purpose of the change management integration in ITEM? The change management integration in ITOM ensures that changes to IT infrastructure are tracked and managed. It integrates change requests with the CMDB, allowing for impact analysis, risk assessment, and automated change approvals, reducing the likelihood of service disruptions. How does ServiceNow handle multi-cloud environments in ITEM? ServiceNow handles multi-cloud environments by integrating with various cloud providers and using connectors to collect data on cloud resources. It provides visibility, management, and automation across multiple cloud platforms, enabling consistent operations and governance. Can you explain the concept of a CI relationship and its importance? A CI relationship defines how configuration items are connected and interact with each other. Understanding CI relationships is crucial for impact analysis, root cause analysis, and change management, as it helps in identifying dependencies and potential impacts of changes or incidents. What steps are involved in troubleshooting a failing discovery scan? Troubleshooting a failing discovery scan involves checking MID server logs, verifying network connectivity, ensuring correct credentials, 
reviewing probe and sensor configurations, and examining discovery schedules. Identifying and resolving issues in these areas can help fix the scan. How does ServiceNow ensure data accuracy in the CMDB? ServiceNow ensures data accuracy in the CMDB through the use of the Identification and Reconciliation Engine, IRE, which prevents duplicates and maintains consistent CI data. Regular audits, CI reconciliation rules, and health checks also help in maintaining data accuracy. What is the importance of CI attributes in the CMDB? CI attributes provide detailed information about configuration items, such as type, status, owner, and relationships. They are essential for accurate CMDB records, enabling effective incident management, change management, and impact analysis by providing comprehensive CI details. Describe the process of configuring an orchestration activity in ServiceNow. Configuring an orchestration activity involves creating an activity in the orchestration module, defining inputs and outputs, scripting the logic for the activity, and testing it. Activities can be combined into workflows to automate complex IT tasks and processes. How does ServiceNow handle updates and maintenance of the CMDB? ServiceNow handles CMDB updates and maintenance through automated discovery, integration with other IT systems, and manual updates. Regular audits, health checks, and data quality reports help maintain the accuracy and completeness of CMDB records. What is the role of a CMDB administrator in ServiceNow item? A CMDB administrator is responsible for managing the CMDB, ensuring data accuracy, defining CI classes and attributes, configuring discovery and integration processes, and conducting regular audits. They play a key role in maintaining the integrity and reliability of CMDB data. How do you integrate ServiceNow item with other ITSM processes? Integrating ITOM with ITSM processes involves configuring workflows and data integrations between ITOM and modules like incident management, change management, and problem management. This ensures seamless data flow and coordination across IT operations and service management. Can you explain the concept of a mid-server cluster and its benefits? A MID server cluster is a group of MID servers that work together to provide high availability and load balancing for discovery and other integrations. It ensures continuous operation even if one MID server fails, improving reliability and performance of data collection processes. What are the key performance indicators, KPIs, used in ITEM to measure success? Key performance indicators in ITOM include incident resolution time, system uptime, event reduction rate, CMDB data accuracy, and change success rate. These KPIs help measure the effectiveness of IT operations and identify areas for improvement. How do you manage credentials securely in ServiceNow item? Credentials in ServiceNow item are managed securely using encrypted storage, access controls, and audit logs. Credential records are associated with specific probes and MID servers, ensuring that only authorized processes can use them for data collection and integration tasks. What is the purpose of the Business Service Management, BSM, map in ServiceNow? The Business Service Management, BSM, map provides a visual representation of the relationships and dependencies between business services and their underlying IT infrastructure. It helps in understanding service impact, performing root cause analysis, and planning changes effectively. How does ServiceNow handle dynamic CI relationships? ServiceNow handles dynamic CI relationships through discovery and service mapping, which automatically update the CMDB with current relationships and dependencies. This ensures that the CMDB reflects the true state of the IT environment, even as it changes. Can you explain how ServiceNow orchestration interacts with external systems? ServiceNow orchestration interacts with external systems through APIs, connectors, and custom scripts. It can execute tasks on remote systems, integrate with third-party applications, and automate workflows across different platforms, extending ServiceNow's capabilities beyond its core modules. What are the best practices for maintaining a healthy CMDB in ServiceNow?
Best practices for maintaining a healthy CMDB include regular data quality audits, using identification and reconciliation rules to prevent duplicates, keeping CI data up to date through automated discovery, ensuring compliance with data standards, and involving stakeholders in CMDB management processes.